Hi, I'm Ainsley with the Coding Clubhouse. Here with Brandon Baker from Intel Corporation. What does Intel Corporation do? Intel is mostly known as a semiconductor manufacturing company, but we also do a lot of software, uh, and we don't actually get as much recognition for what we do in the software space as I think we should. So here we have Jewel. What's that? Jewel is the next generation of uh, our Edison platform, uh, which is a low power, low cost uh, platform for targeting the maker space. So similar to, say, uh, a Raspberry Pi or Arduino, uh, we're targeting uh, users that want to build things, uh, robots, home automation, tools, uh, anything. Uh, and with Jewel, you're able to have a lot of compute at a very price competitive uh, point. And yeah, it's a great thing. You should check it out. So what is this robot? Uh, here we have a robot that we built in partnership with V-Stone, a Japanese robotics company. Uh, her name is Sota, and she is a robotic bartender. Uh, she's based on the Intel Jewel platform. We're also using the Intel Jewel RealSense hardware, uh, as well as a directional microphone. Uh, those two pair together really well to do some noise isolation for the user that it's interacting with. Uh, the, the, the interaction between the user and the robot is purely via voice for this demonstration. Uh, we're doing some advanced speech recognition and some natural language processing uh, to uh, interact with the user. So the user is able to talk to the robot in a very human and natural uh, way. So how has the company grown and changed over the past few years? In so many ways. Uh, my, the thing that I would mention most would be our, Intel is open sourcing a lot of its uh, software offerings. And I think that's a beautiful thing because again, a, a platform like Jewel is targeting the maker space. And what, when you open source uh, software and hardware, that just enables the ecosystem. And when you enable the ecosystem, it can grow exponentially faster and companies like Intel can work a lot less uh, with folks around the world in collaboration targeting uh, a similar objectives you're able to reach your reach your goals in a lot quicker fashion with significantly less resources on any individual you know participants uh, uh, own side yeah. How do you hope that the company will grow and change in the next few years? I hope that it continues to be uh, an innovator and a leader in the tech industry. It, 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 has, remained, uh, it has remained just that since its inception. Uh, it's always been an innovator and it's always led many of industries, uh, many different technology niches. It's, it's always had influence and has done a good job of, uh, you know, targeting and producing output uh, in relation to, with relations uh, with other organizations and companies. So I hope that we can continue to build and maintain those relationships, as well as uh, maybe leverage the open source and the maker community and et cetera more to accelerate those deliverables. Who do you want to push your product towards and what's your target audience? Uh, the target audience for the, the Jewel platform is the maker audience, so those uh, who are just tinkerers as well as uh, those ISVs and uh, independent software vendors and independent hardware vendors who are uh, in the robotics and, uh, you know, in, in the robotic space. You're able to, with this, again, uh, pretty price competitive and low power platform, you're, you're able to do quite a lot. Here we're doing a lot of audio and visual processing, all locally, no cloud offload or similar, and we still have a significant amount of our compute budget left. So the, the applications are endless. What's your price point? Uh, the price point for the Jewel module, I can't speak to explicitly right now, but there are folks downstairs that are selling it, uh, and they can talk to you intimately about uh, the Jewel module's specifics, its specifications and whatnot, as well as the price point and similar. How do you personally help your company? 
how do I personally help the company? I am a part of the, I work for Intel. Uh, I'm in the uh, Intel labs, uh, specifically the security and privacy research lab. And I am on the architecture team for a very cool and new security technology that we shipped last year on Skylake Client. Uh, called Secure Guard Extensions, and uh, I'm responsible for next generation features uh, regarding this uh, technology. I'm cool. my team. Sorry. Yeah. Cool. Do you have any advice for young coders? Just go out and do stuff. Don't be afraid to break anything. Just don't be malicious, but just follow your imaginations, follow your hearts, and just follow your uh, your inquisitive uh, little personalities. I know you guys are very curious, and it's, a, it's an awesome thing. Curiosity is uh, definitely a funnel to innovation, and we, we need your help. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, I don't think so. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate the interview. This was cool. Thank you so much. That's all for me. Bye.